Well, hello, stampers, and welcome to Wednesday. My name is Colleen Magnus, and I am creating with Colleen. And um, today I will teach you what to do. I may teach you what not to do, but I promise to teach you something. So I come to you live every Wednesday, noontime at Eastern time, so you could take a break and I can create. Ooh, I'm out of breath, sorry. The dogs always choose to bark at noontime. And you gotta go out and see what all the ruckus is about. Of course, it's nothing, um, but you just have to make sure. So today, we are gonna be creating with the Nature's Prints uh, bundle, which is this beautiful bundle here. It is a gorgeous stamp set, and it has some beautiful dies that go along with it. So all these are the stamped images that you can cut with your die and your pieces and a label and this gorgeous wreath. And I am gonna show you how to make this gift card holder. It pulls out like this. I, I chose this one because I think it could be masculine or feminine. Definitely some great colors. Great granite, uh, starry sky, and night of navy. So I'm gonna show you this today and then I have a separate version. I'm gonna give everybody a minute to come on. Hey, Miss Gwen. Good afternoon to you too. So we will be making this. Um, and I'll give you all the measurements. And I always post the measurements on um, my Facebook page afterwards. I always put it on there. So this is one version. Gwen says she loves it. Well, Gwen, I did too. Um, I have been doing so much with the Nature's Prints bundle. And this was so much fun when I made it because the designer paper is awesome. And then I also created it in a, another piece, another paper. So Sandy, this is probably one that these colors remind me of you. Um, they're bright and they're springy. And this actually, for this uh, gift card here, you open it up and the, it's just springtime colors. So with this designer paper, this is actually on page 60 and 67 of the annual catalog. And the bundle is called True Beauty. Now I didn't get the bundle yet, you know how that goes. But the designer paper immediately caught my eye because of the colors that were in it. You have a Mary Merlot, Polished Pink, Calypso Coral, Granny Apple Green, Mossy Meadow, and Balmy Blue. So these colors here just spoke my, my language, especially this time of year. Um, so the paper is what I'm using, and I don't know, they, it's really hard to see the dyes to do them justice, but with the True Beauty dyes, Everything that has like a little highlight around it, that has a die to cut it. But if you look down here, this actually is like a hatching to create a really, really cool background. And you'll see it, let me get my catalog right. You're gonna see it, um, this is what it actually creates. This piece here, it cuts it out. And they've used like on this sample, a little piece of it here, or completely on the background with this one here. Um, so really nice dies that go along with this. So let's see who is here. Hey, Miss Sherry, I'm glad you are here. Um, you actually, Sherry, actually won um, last week's project, which was this die stenciling card. It's going in the mail. Um, I told Sherry I had to keep all my die stenciling cards till I finished my last stamp club yesterday. And I did. So Sherry, this is going out in the mail as soon as we're done today. And um, I'll also tell you how you can enter to win one of the projects here again today. So Sherry's with us, Julie, um, again, Gwen. Thank you, Gwen. She loves both of them. And Sandy. So without any further ado, I'll try to keep an eye on my comments. And we are going to create, because I have been waiting to show you all this. So again, this is the one, same dimensions I'm going to give you. But what I like is with this one, can be masculine, can be feminine, can be for anything. Little fake Bank of America card um, in there, which is always good for your display. But I have this one, and that holds a gift card. Keep in mind too, if you run any kind of a business, you can put your business card in here. Simply sides in and out. I mean, just to give them a business card, I mean, I love my business card. It actually has the blog header on here. And uh, it's the four seasons, and it says, to every season, there is a reason to create. And so I have this in here. 
But this skin, to give this as a business card holder for any business that you have, how awesome is that? They would love it. So on here, some of the other products that I used, it, again, it was the Awash and Beauty Designer Series paper. Um, the words are from Happiness Abounds. On um, both of these, I use the Happiness Abounds sets, and um, I really just love the font. I love the way they are, and I love the sayings. So that is the word set that I'm using. And for here, this, these are the Taylor Made Tag Dies. They are fantastic. Different dies, different shapes, uh, two different shapes and all kinds of sizes. Then one of my go-to ribbons that I love is the white glittered organdy ribbon. And again, uh, Balmy Blue, Blushing Bride. So I'm creating that, this one, but all the measurements will get you for either one. Now there's a lot of moving parts and pieces, and again, I took pictures of it, so as soon as we're done, I will go ahead and put the dimensions on our Facebook page. Hey, Diane, I'm glad you could join us. We are just getting started. So what you're gonna need, a uh, four and a quarter by five and a half piece of Starry Sky. And then what I did, this is a four by five and a quarter inch piece of gray granite. And since you don't see that centerpiece, but I need a gray granite label to put that on, I just cut it out from the center. I like to call myself thrifty, and um, I'm gonna get the most bang for my buck when I am creating or doing anything I do. And I couldn't see cutting this out of good cardstock when I can just cut it out of here. So I cut it out of here, and then I embossed it with the fern embossing folder. I'll go on that side. And that is part of the Nature's Prince uh, suite also. And then you are going to need two pieces of a solid cardstock that are four and an eighth by three and an eighth. And again, these colors are Night of Navy and Gray Granite. Then to coordinate on that, you're gonna need two pieces of designer series paper that are four inches by three inches. So I only have about an eighth inch edge but I just really thought it made it look, um, I don't know. I don't know, it's, the quarter inch edge is good, but when it's like this, I really think it just offsets different things because it's not about the color, it's about the designer paper. Then you are gonna need one piece of cardstock that is four and an eighth by two and an eighth. One piece of designer series paper that is four by two. I told you a lot of moving parts one piece that is four and an eighth by one and one eighth cardstock. Your designer paper is four inches by one. And do y'all see why I did that? When you're working with a 12 by 12 designer series paper, that drafter in me comes out and I want you to get the most use out of your paper you can. So to make this four by three, you're gonna get 12 of these pieces out of each 12 by 12 because 12 inches, it, it, you know, gets divided evenly by four and three, so you're getting the most. If I had gone an eighth over or a quarter inch over, you're not gonna get as many pieces. A little math tip there. Um, you need a four inch piece of gray granite shimmer ribbon, and I tell everybody who purchases the Nature's Prince Suite, go ahead and get this gray granite ribbon. It's not a part of the suite, but it goes wonderful with it, and you're gonna wish you had it if you don't. Then you are gonna need two labels, one basic white, one gray granite, and last but not least, the star of our show. This is the folded piece that goes on the inside. So this is 11 by four and a quarter, and you are gonna score it at three and a quarter, six and a half, and nine and three quarters. So those are your parts. And again, I'll put them all um, on the Facebook page when I'm done. So you can create yours. Let me move them out of the way. So I think the easiest thing to do is let's go ahead and just assemble some of these pieces so I don't have so many pieces running around. So I'm gonna take that gray granite fern and this is just gonna be put on the back. Now I like to use my Tombow liquid glue when I'm using anything that is textured. Sometimes the tape will get in there but sometimes it won't, but I always know my liquid Tombow will. So I'm just gonna center this here. And 
and I have that like that. Now for my solid card stocks for these, I alternated the colors. So again, these are four and an eighth by three and an eighth. These are four by three. And I want the gray granite to have the navy trim and the navy to have the gray granite trim. So really, once everything is cut, it'll go fairly quick. Let me slide this on here. And again, I like using a Tombow liquid glue because I can slide it around to make sure I get a nice even edge. So everybody here, if you're here local, y'all know it is a gorgeous, gorgeous day outside today. My windows are open, except the stamp room windows. I had to close them in case the dogs bark. Um, but it is gonna be 76 degrees. It is sunny <clears throat> and gorgeous. I think this is the calm before the storm because I think we're getting some temperature in the 90s. That's just a little too warm for me unless I'm at a beach or a lake, which I would like to fix that. Okay, so these were the four and an eighth by two and an eighth, four by two. I'm gonna just put these together with this dark side here. See, we're taking those 14 pieces and we are reducing them down to seven. So that'll be a lot more doable. Right there. And last but not least, the four and an eighth by one and an eighth and the four by one designer series paper. Everything just looks a little richer when it is backed on another piece of cardstock. So I can pull that up just a little bit. All right, so there I have my pieces. So to put them together on this base piece, what you're gonna do, again, this is scored at three and a quarter, six and a half, nine and three quarters. Take your bone folder because you want some really good edges and just always make sure even if you score it that your edges on the bottom here or the top that they line up so you've got a really, really good straight edge. So I fold the small part in, take this one to this side, good crease, and then fold back, making sure your edges are straight. So this is what your card insert looks like. So on the front, we're going to put this piece. I think I want it this way. So I'll put that there. Now, as I told you, I am going to, you will actually get your choice. I'll draw a name for somebody to receive either the Nature's Prince or the Awash and Beauty gift card holder if you like my page, share my page, and leave a comment. Doesn't that sound um, technical? <laughs> like I know what I'm talking about. But if you like it and share it and other people see it, you are truly helping me and growing my business. And I am thankful for that. And you'll be thankful if I draw your name to receive a gift card holder. So when you do leave your comment, when we're done with all of this, let me know which one though that you prefer, because that'll be the one I send you. So I have these two pieces like this. Now for this here, that's where this shorter piece came in. And the reason I did this was because if I was to do a whole nother panel, I think it gets kind of thick over here because this is getting folded over and you don't see it. So there again, why would I do a four by three when I can do a four by two and you would never know the difference. So that's why I did what I did. Plus I do think it would get a little chunky and a little full on that end. So this piece will go here. Hey, Sharon, does this look familiar? Sharon's in my stamp club and they all made this yesterday. So she already knows what I'm gonna do. But I am gonna show you some tricks, Sharon, on the uh, Stamparatus and how I get that to, um, you know, be able to do the Stamparatus just right. So 
So once I have these pieces in, I can fold this over, but I'm only gonna put my glue at the top and the bottom so I can slide that gift card or um, business card in there. So I have that. And then last but not least, this little strip here. Gosh, I feel like I'm speed stamping. It's going so quick. Of course, I haven't stamped yet. We're getting ready to do all that. So this is the base of my card where it slides in. And then this will get mounted on here. Hey, Mary. Mary made this on Saturday at our stamp club. So it's good to have you all join me. We have such a good time at our stamp club. And the one that Mary is in, um, that is a stamp club that has been with me, I kid you not, for 20 years. I became a demonstrator in October of 2001. And I stamped, at the time it was called Messiah Lutheran Church. I stamped with some of the gals there um, January of 2002. And to this day, we meet every month. It's just the friendships you make. Um, God knows they don't need any more stamp supplies, although I'm so glad they buy it. Um, but oh my goodness, we go to lunch afterwards. It's, it's just amazing. I've been blessed by it in so many ways. So here we have the basis of the card. So now we're gonna go ahead and decorate it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stamp one of the labels, the white label. And again, I'm using the words from the happiness abounds. So I am going to take, you are wonderful in every way. And stamp that right here. Hey, Miss Peggy's joining us. Hey, Peggy, good to see you. So I have this here. And then for this, I should have stamped before I put it on there, but I was so excited putting it together. I got ahead of myself. But here I'm just gonna take the happy birthday and pray it's right, but I wouldn't have been able to stamp on the other side anyways because it's all blue. So I'll just stamp my happy birthday. Now for my tag, that other gray granite piece that I told you about, you're gonna take this and you're gonna cut it in half. Just like that. And then here, I'm just put a little adhesive. And it's really kind of funny, believe it or not, if you're putting this on here, let me see if it's this one, and it doesn't look like it's, it's like totally symmetrical, like to me that's a little bit off, there, then use the other side. I thought these both sides were totally symmetrical, um, but they're not, they're off just a little bit, but you would never know it until you were putting side for side. So here I just, Tape that one, and then this one here. Here we go. I have that. Hold on one second. Okay. And here I have my label. Now what I like to do is I'm going to put like a little tail off to the side. So I'm using. I meant to have my scrap sheet here. I'll just do it on the back in case any glue gets anywhere. Um, but I'm just gonna take and put a little bit of tape on the inside. And the reason I do that is because I don't wanna have to try and hold this down when I'm taping it. So that gives me a perfect tail, the way I like it. And then I'm just gonna put adhesive on the left side here. And then I could just put my tail up a little bit like that. So this is going on the front. So let me get my dimensionals. Put those on here. Okay. And that is my front. And then I can trim up my little tail the way I want to. But what I wanna show you is on the inside of this card, I actually used a Stamparatus to stamp this. And I do it for a couple reasons. It's easier for my stamp clubs, instead of them stamping it on paper and having to cut each one out, it's easier for me to do it and all they have to do is stamp it. So let me show you how I do that. So 
Stamparatus is an amazing tool from Stampin' Up! And there is a lot you can do with it. Um, we have samples. I'll have to do a thing on it. Like you can take this, if I stamp, say I have words going across, I stamp it, move it down, stamp it again. So you can move this and get completely even stamping across. But it's really a great positioning tool. So what I like to do is the way I know how to make like a puzzle piece. What I'm gonna do is I'm making a pattern and then I actually just cut all the pieces out of white so they can just use it like a puzzle piece. So the way I do my pattern is I just make sure it's completely in the corner. Straight up, straight on the side here. These magnets are really, really strong. So you don't want them to touch each other because they're hard to get apart. But if you, they do, don't pull them, slide them apart. Otherwise they could break. They'll still work, uh, but they'll break and you'll be bummed. So make sure you slide them. So I just have this, this piece of paper up in the top corner on the right corner. Then I will ink up my thing. Actually what I did, I should have done, I just laid it in the center here my stamp and I closed it, but I already inked it. I'd get ink all over my fingers. So I close it and I open it. So when I stamp this like this, that's gonna be where it is on this paper. So what I'll do now is I'll take this out. I go to my die cutting machine and I just use my die to cut that. And by the magic of television, this is what I have here. So then I bring this back. I will take one of these little pieces and put it in here like a puzzle. Okay, and this is the way uh, we do it anytime, like if we have bingos or anything, it's just, if you're gonna make a lot of something, this is great. And um, it's, again, it makes my stamp club in Virginia Beach, the one I told you about, you know, we have 11 people, so it just goes a lot quicker. So I have it and it's perfect, I could pull it up if I wanted to, if I thought it was too light, which I don't, but let's push our look. I could ink it again and you can close it again. So this way, if you miss a word or if something happens, you always get a really nice print and that's a little bit darker. Then when I pull it up, it's perfect. It's already cut. It's where I want it to be. Um, I don't have to worry about 10 people trying to get it cut evenly. They're happy with it and so am I. So the Stamparatus is a wonderful tool. So with this, I am going to put it on here. Now, what you could do, if I wanted to blend this just a little bit, I'm really happy with the way it looks. But if I did, I could take my Wink of Stella, and this is gonna put a little bit of shimmer, but it's also gonna pull a little bit of that color out and soften it up just a bit. Almost too much to where you can have a um, piece of paper or a paper towel to get a little bit of the blue off. But just to soften it, either way, it's really, really pretty. And then you have that shimmer too. So let me get a little bit more. Now, uh, my dear customer, Deborah and her sister, Peggy, we went over there um, this past weekend and played with alcohol inks. Peggy is like an amazing, artist and that was a lot of fun so really was good thank you peggy it was great to kind of go and be the customer for the change that was fun just to play so here i have you can see it softened it up a little bit um i have that let's see gwen says thanks for the tip use your stamp apparatus and you love it but you don't get to use oh you don't get the use out of it that you can yeah it really is a great tool you would, you know, well, you know that, Gwen, but I think we do need to use it more because, you know, some people, especially if you have something like a long text that's, you really want to have straight, that works well. Um, and again, it works for mass production, but also for these dies. So I'm going to put this on with my dimensionals as such. So I'm going to put this on there. Now somebody had said, well, well, let me put it on there because I liked it here anyways. Somebody said, well, where do you write on here? 
My mother would be tickled to death with this because she does not like her handwriting. So she would slip a card in it and call it a day. Um, I believe you could write on the back because they will see that when they turn it over. So you could do your writing here. Or if you wanted to, then you could have put this piece on the front, done away with the tag, and maybe just stamp the words, you are wonderful in every way, happy birthday, and have the center to write. But to me, you know, we're stampers. It's all about the artwork. You don't need the writing. Put it on a post-it note. <laughs> happy birthday. Here's a gift card, but the real gift is in the card right here. Um, so that, it's easy. Really, once everything is cut, um, that is what you have. So that was the Natris Prints. And if you give that a good crease, it'll stay down better. And then, of course, the Awash in Beauty was right here. So now what your job is, and I'm going to give you till Friday, because sometimes people come on and they watch the live a little bit after. But what you're going to do is you are going to tell me which one you liked better, the Nature's Prince or the Awash in Beauty. Then I'm going to ask you, that's your comment, of course, but then I'm going to ask you to like and share my page, please, so that others can um, see what we create and hopefully join us for the next week. Don't forget, um, we have a new catalog. If you are in need of a catalog, please contact me and I can tell you how you can get your catalog free. And also, don't forget, when you place a minimum $75 order in the month of May, I am going to send you the Iridescent Pearls Basic Jewels. So if you would, um, if your order is under 150 between 75 and 150 please use this host code. And if not, uh, then you gain those hostess benefits and I will still give you the Iridescent Pearls. Which, speaking of, let's put a couple on here. They're so pretty. So Sherry said both are great. And then that puts the pressure on me because then I have, Sherry, if I pull your name, I have to decide which one to send you. So that's good. Um, but I'm glad you do like both. I felt this one could kind of, the Nature's Prints could kind of be used somewhat of a masculine because again, we do, we struggle with those guy cards unless it's tools or trucks or hunting stuff. Um, but I think this one, I think it's a pretty one too. And then this one, I think I will just put just the one, once I get it, just up in the corner here. Um, where do I want it? Let me put it there. Actually, that's too big. Let me get a smaller one. There we go. I love that they all come in different sizes. It looks like the same size. Okay, teeny tiny. Much better than it doesn't take away from my tag. So, oh, Cindy Honeycutt likes the Nature's Prints more, but she likes them both. Diane likes them both. Um, oh, thank you, Gwen. I make it so hard but she thinks she would use the Nature's Prints. Awesome, well thank you, because that, that is the original one that I created. And this actually came from, the fold itself came from a friend, Anna Crosby. She is just wonderful. Let me step away for one second and see if I could find what she created. I have them here. Here we go. So we were at a meeting and Anna, did this and y'all know, um, you definitely know I love my special folds. So Anna did this and remember this was the designer paper I was trying to get you to buy before it retired. It's called Expressions in Ink and it was gorgeous. So this was hers and then you open it up and of course your gift card goes here. So this was my inspiration. I love starting just with something. It could be a color, it could be a fold, um, just something to kind of get my creative ju juices flowing. And this is what Anna did. And so I just took this fold and turned it into this. And then I'll look at something and say, okay, what can I make into that? So I hope you enjoyed it today. Um, oh, Sandy, that's smart. She said she really likes them both, but um, she don't, oh, you don't have the Awash and Beauty paper, so you would choose that one. Okay, and because you have this and you know you can create it. And you have that one. Okay, so anybody watching, I'll give you till Friday at noon to put your vote down and then I'll pull it and whoever uh, shares my page and I pull your name, I will give you one of these gift cards. So anything I can do to help you, please let me know. Um, please check out my YouTube channel and subscribe. 
You can also go to mycreatingwithcolleen.com and um, request my newsletter. But thank you all for being so faithful. Michelle, I hope you're feeling better. Um, it's kind of a bum way to be able to watch me at noon because you're not working. They're homesick. But I hope you feel better and that you have a blessed day. So all of you take care. I will see you next Wednesday at noon when we find something new to create. God bless you all. Thanks so much and bye-bye.